It's in the year 1803, a four-year-old boy is on the boat. He is doing an important job. He is helping to bring a virus from Spain to Central America. There, the virus will protect people from an even worse disease. This is once of the first time a vaccine will be traveling across an ocean, and this boy is carrying the vaccine in his own body. In the past, vaccines were transported like this. Today, we have the better technology, but how is first year struggle to send important vaccine to the four these places on Earth? In this episode, we are on the way to know how do people transport the vaccine around the world? Vaccines are a kind of medicine. They protect people against deadly diseases. The first vaccines were for the terrible disease is smallpox. In the part of the world, half of the people who got sick with smallpox died. But doctors in Europe has found ways to protect people from getting smallpox. They infected people with a similar virus called cowpox. Cowpox did not make people as sick. When they got better from cowpox, their body knew how to protect them from getting the smallpox virus too. In the 1800s, doctors took fluid from the cowpox on one person. Then they injected the fluid into another person. Soon, whole villages of the people in Europe were safe from smallpox. But across the ocean, many people were still dying from smallpox. Doctors wanted to bring the cowpox virus to the places. They needed a way to transport to the cowpox virus a very far distance. So, Spanish doctor took 22 young boys on a long trip to Central America. The boys were orphans who had no parents. They were between 3 and 10 years old. Before the trip began, doctor infected two of the boys with cowpox. Every tenth day of the trip, doctor took fluid from the infected boy cowpox. Then they infected the next two boys. By the time the boy reached Central America, only one of them had a spot of cowpox left on his body, but that were enough. People separated the boy for green cowpox to protect them. Happy ground here with bells, the boys were blessed with new family. They were promised a good education. Because this boy, as many as 12,000 people were protected from smallpox in just two months in this area. From there, the vaccine was spread into the wider Americas. But today, we wonder about this boy. Did they want to help in this way? Did they get to decide? Probably not. Some were too young to even understand what was happening to them. But because of this boy, many lives were saved. Authorities can transport vaccine in much better way today. Scientists and doctors have learned a lot since the 1800s. But again, we must send a very important vaccine all around the world. Today, people in every country need the COVID-19 vaccine. How will we transport vaccine for? COVID-19 to part of the world that are hard to reach. Transporting the COVID-19 vaccine is challenging. The vaccine must be kept very cold. They are part of the West and Central Africa, where people do not always have electricity. Genocide is working to set up a new refrigerator there. Solar power from the sun will help to keep the refrigerator cold. Genocide said, West and Central Africa are one of the most curved-like places you will find. We are transporting COVID-19 vaccine to major cities, but we must also deliver them to very remote villages. We found that there were not enough cold storage. Then we set about building almost 20,000 solar power refrigerators, all the way from the cold to the forest. They will use many forms of transportation to get the vaccine where they need to go. COVID vaccine will travel by boat to small islands and to villages along the Amazon River. Snowmobile will have to transport vaccine in winter condition to part of Alaska that are very far away. Sometimes, vaccine will travel by motorcycle, drone, elephant, horse, 
and even Camel. This has never happened before. We are trying to send a new vaccine to every country in the world in the same year. Transporting vaccines has often been difficult. Little boy once sails across the ocean. Today, drones fly with no pilot at all. People has always need to be creative to send vaccine across long distances, and they will need to continue to be creative today.